that God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. And it said so in so much that he took aprons and, and girdle things, uh, aprons and all these things, handkerchiefs from his body and sent them and gave them to people. And they would go out and wherever they went, if a person had a, a demon, when they got the cloth, the demon would go. If a person was sick or they had a disease, when they received that cloth, they would be healed. Now think about that. Here you've got a guy who some people would try to say, this man had eye problems, a particular eye problem that was called ophthalmia that would actually cause a, a running pus to run from the eyes. It was very horrible. It was considered an unclean disease. It was one of those things that nobody could get around you. Nobody could touch you. Nobody could do anything. And here Paul is supposed to have this eye disease and yet people come to him and say, please give me some of the cloth off of your body so that I can send to my sick relatives. No, you don't take cloths from people like that. If you do, you take them and you burn them. You don't send them to other loved ones, right? So he wouldn't take, I mean, because think about it. If Paul had an apron or any type of handkerchief on him and he's got this pus running out, what do you think he's going to do with it? He's going to be taken out and run. Oh, he, yeah, here you go. Here, let me send you this cloth. He'd be like, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm, I'm well, right? But now let's take it a step further and let's look at the principle here. Claws were taken from his body. Somebody comes up and says, I've got a loved one. They got this disease. They're dying. I need help. Paul says, well, I can't go. But I'll tell you what, take this. And he hands it to him. It doesn't even, see, we call it prayer claws. It doesn't even say he prayed over him. It just said he took claws that were on his body, gave it to him. And whenever they took that cloth and put it on their loved one, the life of God that was in Paul had so saturated his clothing that that same power was there. And when it got near the sick person, the disease left. If it was a demon, the demon left. Now think about that. Paul didn't, let's just picture it, all right? This is what I do. I read these things. And to me, it's not ink on page. I put myself there. And I only see what it says happened. I don't add to it or anything else. I just picture what's there. <clears throat> so let's say Paul is sitting there and somebody, you got two guys that come up to you and go, listen, uh, we're both visitors. I'm from this area. I'm from that area. Okay. What, what, what do you need? Well, I've got a loved one over here and, and uh, man, they just got a devil. I mean, this thing is tearing them up and there's problems going on. And Paul says, okay, uh, all right, I got you. Uh, what, what, what's your problem? Well, you know, my, my loved one over here, they're sick and they're dying. And there's nothing we can do. And they've had this sickness going on and now there's nothing we can do about it. Please, we need some help. Well, I can't go. But I'll tell you what. I'll take these prayer claws because isn't that what we call them? Prayer claws, right? And so he's going to take them out and he says, all right. All right, Father, I just thank you that right now your, your healing power is being released into this cloth. And Father, I thank you that in this cloth, I, I thank you for delivering power that that demon will go. And so now, uh, we thank you for it. And so, now, here, wait, okay, wait, you had, wait, wait a minute. Okay, this cloth was the one, okay, wait a minute. Okay, th this is the demon cloth. Yeah, that's the demon. Here's, <laughs> here's the healing, well, I hope that's right. Because, it, no, that's not how it worked. He had life. And when that life got to them, if it was sickness, that life repelled sickness out of them. If it was a demon, that demon left. He didn't have to pray specifically over this thing or that thing so that it would be specific. 